Good morning. So I got this Instacart. It's like 27 bucks for 20 something items. Not even going two miles. Got shop for two customers at Food Lion. And I already shopped for it. And it is, uh, I don't know, my brain. I think I'm still asleep. This one got me out of bed. And I had a few, like, I don't know. I had trouble finding a few items, but it all worked out. All right, got both those Instacarts dropped off, and I thought for sure the second customer who only got four items was going to tip bad, but they tipped $7. That's an amazing tip for four items. But man, my ratings are taking a hit, and it's not even getting bad ratings. I've lost 10 five stars over the past two days. I went from like 48 to like 38. I don't know. Like, I'm going to run out of five stars if things keep going this way. All right, y'all, I got another Instacart. It took a little bit. I went, took my dog for a nice long walk. And I basically just walk around the food line. <laughs> that way I'm still in a good zone to uh, get an order. But I got back to my house. I made my coffee. Mmm. Mmm. It's hot. And uh, this one's like 30, 30, almost 36 bucks. The miles didn't load. I'd guess it's five or six miles total. So 12 miles round trip because I'm going to be coming back afterwards. And like 30 items, 35 items. I don't remember. Something close to that. Y'all see the screenshot. Let's go shopping. All right. Got that Instacart shop for put in the car. The joint went pretty smooth. Uh, the customer, the one customer who ordered all the stuff was very responsive. And it's funny because you can tell when they put the phone down because... She just stopped answering me. So then I only had one substitution to make. And I, I think judging by what she was telling me to do on the other things, I think she'll be cool with the substitution. It was some meatballs. They didn't have the big bag that she wanted in the brand she wanted. So I got her a different brand that had a few less meatballs, but was also a few less dollars. So anyway, we're going to drop this joint off. All right, I got the first Instacart dropped off. And that person lived at the train station. Like, I can tell that whoever owns the house is renting it because there's like A and B on certain doors in the house, which is smart because that property is probably worth so, like it's a really old house, but it's literally like you could get to Baltimore or DC. I mean, you can get anywhere on the train within, the, you know, like 30 footsteps from your front door. But you're also going to be listening to the trains coming through all the time. So, there's good and bad with that. Anyway, go on and drop the second one off. All right, so I dropped both of them Instacarts off, and uh, I was like, I don't know, I'm at 60 bucks, so I'm hyped on that. Hopefully, I can get some five stars from one of these customers, like maybe the lady who I was texting like crazy. I guess I'm going to have to start asking people for five stars, but I hate doing that because, uh, I don't know, I just, I'm not a fan of doing that, and it's ridiculous that I have to do that so that <laughs> I can stay a uh, priority shopper on Instacart. But anyway, my one buddy, he works for UPS, and it's his birthday. I don't know when his birthday is, but he took off for an entire week. And his kids are with his uh, his mother, and his wife is out of town. So he's kind of allowed to do whatever he wants to do for once. So we are going to ride motorcycles into Washington, D.C., and go to a skate park. All right, YouTubes. It is a little after four, and I didn't get no clips of my friend wheeling, even though he did wheelies like the whole, it was an hour for us to get from his house to DC. He did wheelies like the whole freaking way. 
and I only got one skate clip or one little line for me because it started raining and we're so dumb that we rode all the way into DC and then didn't realize it was going to rain the rest of the day. So uh, luckily one of my, another one of my friends met us there and he took our skateboards so our skateboards didn't get wet. Cause if you don't know, like skateboards are made of wood and getting them wet is just, they never skate the same if you get them wet. So anyway, I got this Instacart. It's like 17 bucks going like six miles. It heads me out towards all the rest of the restaurants. So hopefully I'll be able to sign in on DoorDash and we'll have a good night shift. Let's get it. All right, that Instacart was super easy. One thing I found amusing about it was, I don't know if I took a picture of it. I hope I did screenshot but it, they had they ordered ripe bananas and these bananas were damn near brown in the picture i wouldn't want my bananas that ripe unless you plan on eating them like when they get delivered a whole pound of them anyway going to drop it off all right so literally right after i dropped off that instacart i got this doordash they sent me one before it that was not good but this one, it's not really that, it, it looks terrible face value because it's 4.4 miles for 625, but I'm two miles away from the McDonald's and then where it drops off is still right in the area where all the restaurants are. So, this, you know, I'll do it. All right, you know, people are crazy. Pick this McDonald's up. It's like some chicken nuggets and a cheeseburger. I'm putting my money on, there's no tip on this one. And I'm not whining about it. <laughs> I decided to do the order. It's funny, I watched a Dashing Trader video last night where he showed this lady, I don't think it's a real video. He he said that too, but like this lady just is going off about how, you know, she accepted an order and she's dropping off the groceries and then she's whining about how she didn't get paid enough. Well then don't accept the order. What do you mean? Like, why would you get yourself in that situation? And then like, I see this one's not a no tip order, but you know, the last thing I'm going to do is go argue with the customer about it because that's a waste of my time. I'm trying to get on to the next order as soon as I can. All right, we dropped that DoorDash off. Freaking <laughs> two different ring doorbells telling me I'm being recorded. It's good to know. Anyway, uh, right after I got, literally right after I dropped that one off, I got this one at Chick-fil-A, 1175, four miles, four point something miles. It's going right back towards my house. I need to walk my dog, so this is perfect. All right, got the Chick-fil-A picked up. We ain't got no hot bag. I'm gonna get that when I go back home. I've been slacking on my hot bag. I've been doing so much Instacart. I don't ever need my hot bag, but uh, yeah, I gotta get a new bin for Instacart. I lost my old one. I freaking, I had to leave it in my car that got totaled because uh, I had to go clean out my car and, the, and I couldn't get a rental car for a few days and the only way I could get there was on the motorcycle, so can't carry that bin on a motorcycle pretty good mm -hmm. yeah. oh okay yeah. all right drop that door dash off that was weird as soon as the i walk up to the door and the dude is coming out the door so i went to hand him the food and he's like no 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 it's not for me the dude's coming out but uh man chick-fil-a like right where they put the sticker on the bag this is happened twice now. I go to pick up the bag and it rips the bag where the sticker is because the fries are so hot. The bag's all wet. Makes it look like I'm trying to steal food. I'm not here trying to steal people's food. I'm trying to get it to them. He tipped me $8. That's a beautiful tip. I want them to have the best experience they can. I'm very grateful for that tip. All right, y'all. I walked the dog and I went and grabbed my freaking sandwich I got last night. Anyway, I got this Mama Roma's. It's like six miles i think for 11.75 and i just did what i always don't suggest you do i cut the line y'all there was a huge line in mama roma's but they they see me in there all the time so they were like come here what do you got for me and there was another lady doing doordash and i could tell she was pissed because they normally don't do that but you know because i'm i'm the freaking i'm their favorite dasher you know they left a comment on my youtube channel Mama Romas has a YouTube channel and they left a comment on my YouTube channel that I'm their favorite dasher. So there you go. All right, a 750 <coughs> tip. That's another really strong tip. Now I'm like, I don't know. I've never delivered where this neighborhood is. Like I've seen it before, but yeah, it's five. It's almost six o'clock. I turkey sandwich the first thing I ate all day. Could y'all do that? 
go all day without eating? I can. All right, so right after I dropped that order off, <clears throat> I got an order at Wawa. I was literally like half a mile up the road from Wawa. This could be good or bad because if Wawa is slammed, like they will take forever to get the order. But if Wawa is not busy, which is looking a little busy right now. So we're going to see. I'm definitely going to put the 10 minute timer on. That's the pro tip for you. Uh, if it's somewhere you think you're going to be waiting a long time, put the timer on so you can, uh, you know, so when the, so you don't wait more than time, 10 minutes. You don't want to wait more than 10 minutes for any, any pickup. Unless it's like an amazing order. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I went in Wawa. It was a freaking zoo. I went to the cash register. The cash register. The, ca the, the cashier. And I told her what I was there for. And then she went and grabbed like the chips and the soda. And she was like, it's going to take them a while to make the sandwich because it's backed up. So we're getting the hell out of there. We're going to drive towards the rest of the restaurants and see if we can get something better. Or just something else. All right, I just got this McDonald's joint. <clears throat> It's like, I think it was 11.25. It was 11 something, going five something miles. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that, keep some money coming in. Instacart is like just showing me 20 orders that are 20 and 30 miles away. I don't, I don't got time to scroll through their crap. All right, 6.50 tip on that one. Funny, the tips are getting smaller and smaller on each order, but I'm not mad about it. Man, my backup camera is blurry. I think I'm about to hit a trash can. Please don't hit the trash can. Okay, I made it. I didn't hit it. But uh, yeah, this order dropped off like right next to where uh, one of the entrances to my favorite mountain bike trails are at. And it reminds me how I've been messing up, not riding my bike, especially my mountain bike. But my fitness has got to be god awful now i used to be so fit if you ride your bike every day you get 30 minutes into an hour every day man you will get so much healthier all right so doordash sent me one that was like 22 bucks and i had to shop at cvs and go to bonefish grill and it was dropping off on the military base 17 miles 22 bucks and all that no nah, we're not doing all that but then they just sent me this one and it's like five miles for 12 bucks picking up at pizza hut and i'm about a mile from pizza hut so it's only four miles of the drop off so that's a great order but yo these freaking windshield wipers that came on this car i can't stand that noise man i gotta go buy new windshield wipers immediately and and just for anyone out there who wants to i'm sure he, Y'all have brains, but you don't buy the cheap windshield wipers. You buy ones that are made of silicone. They will last years and never make this freaking noise. It's so annoying. All right, y'all. DoorDash is working with me tonight, man. They're raising my acceptance rate. Sending me orders that are always already ready. I can't believe this. I picked that joint up. Look at this freaking pizza bag i bought you it says medium pizza. you can't even fucking fit a medium pizza in this bag what a waste of money they, they amazon got me with this one i thought i was gonna be able to fit large pizza you you can't even fit a medium in that bag all right y'all i ain't never you, you can't see nothing i don't know where the hell this house is i'm supposed to be delivering to like i, I ride my bike back here pretty regularly and i've never been back here I hope that isn't the house that I need on the left there. All right, y'all, I got that DoorDash dropped off. I'm on a freaking dirt road. But luckily, the dude, he's a G, man. It's raining, and he's standing out there with his phone light on so he could see me. But he did some weird shit. All right, he took the pizza from me. Then he ran up the driveway to his car and put it in his car. That's weird, but whatever. $7.45 tip. That is a beautiful tip. All right, y'all, so... I almost made it back to my house after dropping off that last one. And then I got this Instacart... And I was ready to turn off Instacart because it was just like, I've seen all these crappy orders, but this one, oh my gosh. It's like 11 items and $30 for like five or six miles all day. All right, well, that was such an amazing order. It was $175 just um, 18 items. So that's why the tip is so good on that joint. Still killer. When I'm wearing these old shoes, you know, kind of ironic. And my feet are soaked. 
If you don't know what Sanooks are, they're like beach shoes. They're cool. It'd be fine if I wasn't wearing socks, but just the wet socks is no good. All right, so no drop off action on that DoorDash. That was a, there was a lot going on there. I guess those people just moved into their house because there was a moving truck. So the front door was like blocked with dudes trying to just move crap into the house. And then I walked up to him and they were like, hey, you should go to the other door. Cause there's like two front doors. Cause that showed, that tells you how big of a house it was. And then uh, right when I took the stuff to the other front door, a girl pulled up behind me. I'm assuming she was doing DoorDash. So I guess they were hooking up. Cause I got a bunch of plates and cups and waters and stuff. So I guess they got to hook up the moving people. That's nice of them. All right y'all, that Instacart was super easy. I don't think I filmed anything. It's so quick. I grabbed myself a pizza and some soda pop. I got some Mountain Dew Code Red and I got a fruit cup and a salad and a yogurt. Cause since I only ate that sandwich earlier, I'm freaking starving. So this is probably gonna be the last one. I mean, I ain't gonna turn Instacart off. If anything else comes in easy and good, I'm gonna do it. But that's probably it for tonight. Ah, hey, $10 tip. That's a strong tip. Yeah, but that order paid for my pizza, my salad, my fruit cup, my soda pop. I got a 12 pack of soda too. And a yogurt, paid for all that. 